Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech, and I wanted to show you the new application for iPhone anyway, Pages. Now we do have Pages on the iPad, and the nice thing is, if you purchased it on the iPad for $9.99, which is very reasonable for a word processor, you get it free on the iPhone or any other device you downloaded on other than your Mac, which is a different version, or a more comprehensive version. That's the same with Numbers as well. Uh, they're releasing all of these these applications across the different platforms which is nice so if you've seen pages great if not uh, I, I urge you to take a look at it for the iPad it's a great word processor but let's take a look at it on the iPhone let's go ahead and zoom in here a little bit there we go and we'll go ahead and open pages now pages is a word processing application and while I would not really want to type my whole document on the iPhone, you could connect it via Bluetooth keyboard or whatever, uh, but I think it's more of a, a of a thing where I would edit a little bit and then perhaps uh, like to be able to grab my document. So what we can do is we can go ahead and hit the plus button and we can create a new document. We can get it from iTunes, we can get it from iDisk or WebDAV. Now I do have an iDisk because I have MobileMe. I've grabbed a document and that would be my resume here and it just pulls it over and downloads it. So I think that's pretty nice. But let's go ahead and open the Getting Started app and we'll go ahead and open it. It opens up and here we have our icon. We can move it around. We can make it bigger. We can make it smaller. Very simply move it around like that. That's our center line. Pretty simple application. Now one thing that doesn't work, strangely enough, is I can't turn this horizontally in landscape mode, but I guess most people want to type this way anyway because you want to see the whole document. If I want to edit, I just tap and I can delete, I can edit, type, and here's my options. We have the inspector, we have different things for title, subtitle, heading, it's basically got the same thing you get on the iPad, which is nice. We have lists, we can do bullets, uh, letterhead, that sort of thing. Layout, alignment, that sort of thing. Uh, let's go ahead and go back. We can add different assets such as pictures. If I want to grab a picture, uh, let's grab... Uh, we won't let it use our location right now, but here's a picture uh, that we could move around. It's actually a a wallpaper I've used for quite some time. I just found it online on one of the free wallpaper sites. Completely free, revenue free. Uh, that's it. We move these around. You know, resize them. And then we have some other tools. We can print it. We have a ruler, that sort of thing. So it's pretty nice that we've got all these little options where we want to do some minor editing on the go. I just thought I'd show you that. And since it's free when you have it already on your iPad, you can easily move things around to uh, things such as iDisk, or we can throw those in the trash, but we can move things around to iDisk, that sort of thing. So if I want to go to iDisk, it will load, and here's all the different things I have. So pretty nice that I can grab them from anywhere on the go and just look at them, look at some notes, my resume that's there, make sure it's right, and move on from there. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, there's numbers also, Keynote, and uh, pretty simple. So if you've used those and you have any tips or anything, go ahead and put a comment below. Uh, maybe there's a better program that you think Pages is a waste of money. Go ahead and put that below also. Thanks for watching. This is Aaron. We'll see you next time.